welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. So today uh, we got a couple things that I want to do. I want to get this part set up. So we have another vi or town part uh, in this area. Now we're going to have to kind of adjust the, the hillside a little bit like we did on this side. So I kind of worked with the train a little bit more to kind of give a better impression for the actual terrain uh, though I don't think I did all this part yet so we'll probably work on that so it's just a matter of bring it out and in like this and kind of designing it a little bit more so it's like that we'll do that for the upper part too so we kind of know what to work with so I can't really do an in too much on this but we can go out or probably in, we can't do the opposite. I'm a little tired today. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically we'll do that a little bit. Maybe smooth that out just a little bit there. Uh, hard to see now because it's night, but we'll bring this out a little bit more because that part of the structure is there. And we'll see if we can't blend this in a little bit more. Maybe move that inwards. Might even use the uh, level tool to kind of blend this in a little bit more. Yeah, we'll do that because it kind of brings it out a little bit more too, right? It makes it a little bit more uneven. So, kind of like that. Let's see if we can't do that over here. Bring that up a little bit. Bring that in. Okay, so I think that will work pretty good for this area. We'll see if we can't blend this in a little bit more. Uh, bring this out and then bring that a little bit in. And then we can start working on that uh, part that we'll need to develop for that town.
So we need a little bit more um, sewage treatment. We're starting to run a little bit low on that and water, so we should probably hook that up uh, with uh, some of the better ones. I think we'll go with the eco advanced one like we have been doing. Might be able to fill it in in this general area. I'm probably not going to be putting another port in here. I don't think we need another one, to be honest. Uh, if we do, then we can always move it, I guess, uh, for the uh, facility. But uh, I think it should align with here, so we could just hook it up directly to that line, probably. We'll see. We'll see when if it if that day comes. Right. I, I think we'll have enough room here where we'll be able to fit that in. So we'll, um, not sure if it will hop the distance. Might be able to fit it in up to here. Okay, let's see what that does for our sewage. Okay, it brings up, it brings it up a little bit more. Um, let's go ahead and go up here and we'll put another water tower up here. Let's see if that helps. Might need a large one. Okay, let's try a uh, large water tower. Okay, that helped quite a bit. Yeah, I figure that will do us for a while. Okay, um, what else do we have? How's electricity doing? And we're doing good on electricity. And fire. Most of it's low. Hazard is only like 31%. Though we could probably put um, fire safety in on some of these parts. Be able to fit one in somewhere around here. Might cover some of the forestry area. See if we can lower that. I'm not sure if it's going to get lower the more that we put these down or not. How much do these cost? Only 96 per week.
All right, so I decided to redesign this forest industry area, um, mainly because there wasn't, um, it wasn't really covered by the fire service that much. So I wanted to make sure that they could get covered uh, for the emergency services. And I'm not sure, let's just remove these parts right here for the time being. Actually, you know what, we could probably just move those. How much would it cost to move? Only a thousand, that's not too bad. So we'll put them over here at the moment and we'll see how much coverage that uh, fire station has. So let's go into the fire thing. Okay, so it's all covered for the, by the looks of it. Um, I did put a highway in, uh, just a two lane highway that goes through here. Uh, reason being that helps with the connection and I got rid of the dirt roads because that wasn't really doing too much for the um, fire safety and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some trees down in some of these areas um, probably about nine trees or so for some of these forestry areas I'm not sure if the when the building is built if it counts but let's see if we can't uh, fill some of this in with some trees we're pretty much using this area for our um, forestry industry so I'm not too worried about the um, farming fertile soil in this area okay so that should be good for that part um, I want this as just kind of like factory buildings and we'll see if we can't work around here put some trees in some of these areas So that should be good for that part. And then I figure factories, factories, and then down here could be some more forestry buildings.
right, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got the um, area on this side all set up. So we got this part along this whole stretch here. Uh, this is part of Greendale, uh, which is this area that we worked on last episode. And I put an elementary school in as well as a high school. We have a post office. Um, I think we have transportation for the monorail system, which seems to be used by a lot of people. Might even need to increase the capacity on that. Um, what else did we do? We worked in the hospital, so there was a park nearby, and we got some paths and stuff in so people can get, easily get between the monorail system and stuff like that. I also threw in a couple hotels, so there's a hotel here, and there's a hotel, uh, I think, right there. So those are two hotels, and put in some um, other buildings, a uh, playground, and a few other things in here as well. I think there was a garden, yeah, a garden over here. And then what we worked on, we worked on the forestry industry because it kept catching on fire and I wanted to make sure it was a little bit more uh, better. So we did successfully do that. As you can see, there is a whole green area. I removed the uh, fire watch towers and I put them over way over here just to test to see if the firehouse had enough uh, range for it. And it does. So all these buildings are covered now. So that's perfect. I don't know how many there are in this, uh, six, six fire engines in that particular thing. I also put a police station down so they were covered for that as well. So outside of that, that's all the stuff that we did today. I reworked uh, some of the rails, uh, made this a little bit smoother, but just minor details like that made it a little bit better. Outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.